Hello, this is Steve Shaw, and I'm doing a thank you pour for Jenna Marbles. Jenna, you've never heard of me, and quite honestly, I'd never heard of you until a week ago, but thanks to you and your bazillion followers on YouTube, uh, you and your boyfriend Justin uh, did a uh, little experiment one night with pour painting, and you guys did a great job. I watched the video. You had tons of fun. You tried a bunch of different methods and techniques, and they all looked really, really good. Um, but because you did that, when people searched acrylic pouring on YouTube afterwards, for some crazy reason, one of my videos showed up, and thanks to you, I've had 35,000 views in one week, which is blowing my mind. So I wanted to say thank you, and the best way I could think of saying thank you, thank you was by doing a pour just for you. So I'm going to use some of my favorite colors to do a pour, and if you like it, um, reach out to me. I'll be happy to mail this one to you. So it's purely a thank you, no strings attached. So I want to do a pour for you. I have right down here a 10 by 20 inch canvas, and this is a great size canvas. I love this. Not too big, not too small. Um, I'm going to put a light layer down of what's a paint that's mostly white. It's got a little bit of purple in it. And I'm just going to pour a little bit of paint on here as a little base coat because sometimes that will just help the paint flow a little smoother across the canvas. And uh, I honestly just like to use my hand and rub it in there. You don't have to have a, uh, a base coat like this. You can just pour right onto the canvas, but you have to use a little bit more paint to do it. But this is going to be, uh, there we go, get the edges around the sides there. But this is just going to be a nice base color, I think, for this. Okay. Next, my all-time favorite color is turquoise. So I'm going to do a, uh, ooh, now that I have the base coat, I don't know that I can do an actual flip cup, but I'll do a quick flip that way, and we'll see. So I've got some turquoise here, which I'm going to stir up a little bit. And I'm going to put a few drops of silicone oil in there. Oh, come on. There we go. Stir that up. I've got a nice big solo cup, 16 ounce solo cup. I'm actually going to just put that in there on the paint. I'm going to pour in some of my turquoise. And it has a little metallic glow in there too, which is really nice. I'm going to layer some colors on here. So I've got turquoise. I'm going to go with some yellow. Shoot that down inside. Got a darker blue. I'm just dumping all of that in there. Love these kind of ocean, water, foam kind of colors. I've got a darker blue here. Oh yeah. One of the great things about this form of art, Jenna, is you can't really control it, which you guys kind of discovered. Um, you can choose the canvas, you can choose the paint colors, um, but if you're a control freak, you're going to hate this because you just get what you're going to get. The paint is going to do what the paint is going to do. And sometimes it's a train wreck, and sometimes it's the most beautiful thing you've ever laid eyes on. And this is going to be a pretty one, I think. Got a little more lighter turquoise there. My goal for this is to get close to 16 ounces of paint. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you saw that. I just poured that in there, and there was just a little paint uh, cell cellular explosion. That's just so much fun. All right. And I'm trying to do this a little quicker than I normally do. Sometimes I get a little chatty in my videos, but oh wow, look at that. This is going to be insane. Look at that going on in there. Ooh. Okay, here. <laughs> I love this part. You know what? I am going to, even if it makes a mess, I'm going to go ahead and do a flip cup. I know there's paint on here, but I'm going to go here, flip, flip this over. All right, I didn't lose a whole lot. And you, as you can see, all the paint's in the cup. And let's lift it up and see what happens. This is where galaxies are born. Boom. Wow, look at that. And that is my dog in the background, Jenna. I'm sorry about that. Look at this beautiful painting. Wow. 
totally have the ocean thing going on here. Kind of stretch it out a little bit. Coming back this way. Absolutely gorgeous. And look at that. Wow. I am not going to do anything else to that. I'm going to leave it just like that. As far as color goes and paint goes, I'm going to get a little bit of this color and tap in the... Oh, no, that was white in there already. Now, wow, look at this. Gorgeous. I am... Ooh, the purple's coming through. The blue is coming through. Fantastic. Now, um, I'm going to use a blowtorch. And you saw earlier I put a little bit of the uh, the silicone in the in the in the paint, and that's just like an oil. And when you heat it up, it comes to the surface. So the paint that had the oil in it, wow, there are just cells exploding in here already. Um, I probably don't even need a torch. I'm gonna just see what happens though. And when you use a torch, just make sure there's nothing flammable really close by. Even as I'm standing here talking, look at this beautiful action right in here. All right, torch time. Boom. Oh yeah. That's it, I'm not doing anything else to that. This is beautiful. This is one of those things where the actual painting part or dumping the paint over does not take that long to do. Um, there's a pretty good learning curve with it as you and Justin discovered the other evening, but uh, gosh, it's fun. A lot of time on the front end prepping the paints, but look that bad boy right there that is beautiful so jenna thank you very very much for doing a uh, experiment with poor painting and thank you for leading people to my video and uh as i mentioned before this is your painting i'm not going to sell it to anybody i'm going to hold on to it and if you ever want it shoot me a note and i will be glad to mail it to you thanks a lot bye